fighting fury, we're from Tigerland. In any weather, you will see us with a grin, risking head and skin. If we're behind, then never mind, we'll fight and fight and win, for we're from Tigerland. We never weaken till the final siren's gone. Like the tiger of old, we're strong and we're bold, for we're from Tigerland. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Neville and Valley Crow. And ladies and gentlemen, Dr. David Richmond Marsh. Thank you, Rex. I'm a very lucky man. Many years ago, I got a phone call from Ron Carson, who said, Doc, would you look after Jack Dyer? It was an honour and a privilege to look after Jack. Sadly, I never saw Jack play. Some years later, I inherited a childhood idol who walked through the door. A gentle giant, a gentle man, a gentleman, Neville Crow. There's been a lot of conjecture about Neville's health, Neville's under frequent review. He's under one of the best neurologists in Melbourne. Suffice to say, it is not a progressive, degenerative neurological disease, but it's a disorder that will be fixed a lot today if I could write a script for love, warmth and affection that's in that room today this will be therapeutic for Neville and his family. I did have a surprise script for Neville today. You've got to be careful though as a doctor doing surprises for 74 year old patients. Thank you uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what a, uh, a moving moment. I think you'll all agree it's been an outstanding afternoon. Uh, my recollection of Neville Crow and I'll be implicitly candid with you when Neville retired in 1967, just as a uh, bit of superfluous information, lamb cutlets sold at 32 cents apiece. <laughs> just sort of gives you an indication of how much I've leapfrogged everyone. But anyway, that's irrelevant. Not only did he captain Collingwood to their premiership in 1958, that was just an aside for him. Uh, but he was just a fantastic player, a powerful individual. Would you please make him welcome, the great Murray Wiedemann. I'm sick of uh, introducing this guy. <laughs> Why would you? 15 Brownlow medals, 28 best and fairest. Uh, just say hello to Bobby Skilton. <laughs> now here's a guy, and I'm going to say it as it is, because there's a guy that really willed himself, who loves and is more passionate about this game than anyone I can ever recall doesn't probably sit in the high echelon where we sit in. <laughs> but let me tell you, he has got every right. Almost hover between base camp and the summit. <laughs> because uh, he's a 200 gamer, loves his club, and on his day, let me tell you, there's no more feared forward in the game. I remember even Ron Barassi assigned, and I said, what are you wasting your time, Ron, with your game plan? He said, we're going to look after Rex Hunter. I said, you're delusionary, which he still is to this day. But anyhow, it's... <laughs> he was an outstanding individual, and you're very lucky to have in your midst a re... not only a true tiger, but someone that's really passionate and fair to him about his great club. Please welcome Rex Hunt. <laughs> now, Skilt, sir, uh, you're one of the few your love of Richmond. You hate Richmond, for Christ's sake. Yes, you do. Bobby, uh, you always play to a losing ruck. You wouldn't know. Uh, look, I shudder to think how many Brownlows you would have won if you had a ruckman. Uh, Actually, my, my fondest memories of Crowey were uh, he was probably 
you know, he and Bartlett were probably the only two Richmond blokes who didn't belt me. Uh, I saw this young number five uh, for Richmond and I just thought, goodness me, I'd like to actually be able to do that one day and that was the greatest dream of my life and it turned out to be a dream for a long, long time. But I made my debut in 1968. I came to Richmond with a lot of young blokes. I first came in 1965 and one of the first blokes I met was Neville Crow with Billy Brown and we ran around the, uh, the, uh, the Yarra Park and then they took us around the tan and Crow he was the first bloke to show me the shortcut around the tan. Uh, that the whale took to a next level with uh, a slab of cans uh, next door to the uh, cafe. But Tommy used to say, as long as you win, that's no drummer. Like the tiger of old, the strong and revolver with the tiger.